Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday, the 10th of November. Eeks, it's the 10th of November already. Can you believe it? Oh, my gosh. My son, when I came home from my craft fair yesterday, we were talking for a little while. And we got on Christmas lists. So he actually gave me four things for a Christmas list, which is usually it's like pulling teeth to get anything out of him. It's all closed. <laughs> but anyway, at least he gave it to me. So Christmas is right around the corner. Hey. So Linnea is a friend of mine. Um, she found me through YouTube, but she doesn't do YouTube videos. And I guess since she's, I don't know how that works, but she can't comment on YouTube. But she comments and posts pictures in my Facebook group of the same name, Dev House Crafty Cottage. So if you're the same way, feel free to join my Facebook group and you can post comments there and things. And I give announcements about videos coming or going up and things when I remember to do that. So I did today. Anyway, um, Linnea and I also did a um, pocket letter swap, an autumn pocket letter swap. She and I and Paige and I all did um, fall pocket letter swaps. So, but she has, she sent me this, <clears throat> you know, priority mail box. So obviously this is not just a pocket letter. And I was expecting some other things because she also, um, we text each other and she was at her Tuesday morning and they had the house mouse stamps that everybody was hauling and mine didn't have. Except one one time and one another time or something so she sent me pictures and i said yes buy them and then i paid her for them anyway long story short there's a bunch of stuff in here and i don't know some of it's wrapped and some of it's not so i don't know what's what we have this and this and this is a big thing i don't know what this is oh it's ripped a little bit Oh, it kind of tore on me. I don't know if that was me or when it went in the box. Anyway, and this, and this, <laughs> and oh, I found a card. Um, and then there's something else here I'll show you in a minute. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Hmm. So here's her card. And Linnea does make cards. She makes lots of cards. Look at this pretty card with the pumpkins and the bling. The bling is coming up a little bit because of the shiny surface. But these are really pretty pumpkins. They're three-dimensional. Can you see that? Cool. Happy fall pumpkin. <laughs> Friends inspire each other. Yes, we do. And we also, um, uh, how do we call that? Anyway. Yeah, we inspire each other and we also encourage each other to buy sometimes. But lately, we're trying to do just the opposite and say, no, we don't need this or that or whatever. So, aw. Oh, good. She sent me the receipt for the um, house mouse. Good, 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 good. Thank you, thank you. So let me show you this one thing she said. Well, one of the things she said was extra that she had. Now, I don't know. She got me the Beautifully Brisk collection in 12 by 12. Thank you, Linnea. I hope you did keep one for you because this is so pretty. I will show this at the end because I don't want to hold up the rest of the video. And you've already seen me share that. Well, I'm going to open this ripped one. I think this is a friend mail. So, because I can see what it is. And, um, oh my gosh. She even already put <laughs> that is this one. I'm gonna rip it since it's in fall colors, but the tissue is, but uh, it's already ripped, so um I'm gonna stuck on the back. Sorry for the crinkling. Look, she already put on it Deb House Crafty Cottage Independent Stampin' Up dealer, she wrote. <laughs> is demonstrated but maybe she didn't have enough of the letters that is so cool and i'm not gonna be able to take it up i don't think how does this work oh she has it all taped all right hang on i'm gonna take it out yes i am <laughs> that is so cool and they had some of these at um i think it was tuesday morning but i didn't i didn't get it so what a stinker linnea hmm I owe you, girl. 
if I owe you. Okay. This is a letter board. That's what it's called, 12 by 12. I heard something. Uh, uh, that might be the letters. See? Deb Halk's Crafty Cottage, independent Stampin' Up dealer. I'm not, well, I don't know. I'm a demo, demo, but yeah. So anyway, I can change that. And there's an M. She must have tried to do demonstrator and didn't have enough letters or something. So anyway, thank you so much, Linnea. I have to put that down in the, the box in the recycle bin. Cool. I never had one of these. A new toy. Cool. So now if I'm just doing a talkie video, I can just um, show this to you guys, right? Now I have to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably take these all off and put them in a little container. Otherwise, I will lose them. Maybe in one of those 5 by 7 photo containers I can put them all in. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to put this down on the floor over here. And, uh, yeah, for now. Oh, cool. That is so cool. And it can either hang on the wall or it won't be hanging on my wall because I have no wall. <laughs> I don't know which one is the pocket letter. Maybe this one? Yeah, I'm going to try this one. But the pocket letter is the swap. And you wrapped everything up even? Wow, well, you didn't have to do that. Yep, this is the pocket letter. And I'll reuse the tissue. Except for the arms that was all unfortunately torn. torn, And I tore it more. Ooh, oops, that's the back. Oh, look how pretty. This paper is really pretty back here. You did a beautiful job. So she's got a wreath with fall colors. It says, I love fall and some bling. And these two, uh, I don't know what they're called, but they're round and this one's popped up on a foamy on top of something else. So cool. And this is popped up as well. And this says fall 2019. Wow. And then she's got the truck carrying the pumpkins and he's got gold in the wheels. So cute. And here's another one of the pumpkins like she used on the card. Awesome. Oh, over here we've got a little raccoon. <laughs> coffee beans. She and I both love coffee, but she does like cold coffee and, you know, like, what do they call it? Like mochaccino or some. I don't know. Anyway, and I don't. I don't like coffee cold. I don't like coffee ice cream. I like my coffee hot and steamy with a little bit of sugar-free French vanilla creamer, please. <laughs> I used to put in the artificial sweeteners, too, but I stopped doing that. So now, no sugar, no sweetener. So give thanks, and here's a little raccoon roasting a hot dog or something over the fire, campfire, and a little pumpkin. That's so cute. That raccoon is so cute. And then here we have pumpkin spice every, and everything nice. Cool. And pretty gold dot paper on top. Coffee beans! <laughs> and then here's a pumpkin again. So very blessed. Yes, I am. Oh, look at this cute little fox with the flower, flowers in its fur. <laughs> that would be like me in the 70s. Flowers in my hair. I still do that once in a while. If I'm taking a walk and I see a really pretty wild flower, I'll pick it and stick it in my hair. Spooky, wishing you a happy Halloween. Yeah, I didn't get to do much this Halloween, but she's got it all glittered around the edges. And pumpkins over here on this pretty gold paper. And some bling bling. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then down here, family gathering. Oh, we are having such a hard time deciding what to do for Thanksgiving. Long story, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm supposed to be getting a call from my daughter today about that. So we'll see. Um... Anyway, and some bling here and acorns. I've been on a thing for acorns lately. These are cute with the little cheery cheeks on them and smiley faces and stuff. And a little one down here. And some more bling bling. Look, there's coffee beans down the side. Coffee bean washi tape. Cool. Gobble gobble. <laughs> yeah. We'll be gobbling gobbling. Yes, we will. In fact, I have to remember to pick up a free turkey at the grocery store I go to. I should be able to get it right now. And some a slice of pumpkin pie. Yum. I like my pumpkin and my pumpkin spice and pumpkin pie. And happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. And some leaves in the background. Those are cute. Is that a punch? That's a cute punch. Oak leaves. I think that's a punch instead of a die cut. I like that. 
I need to, I have to see what I have in non Stampin' Up punches. I don't think I have any like that. And then she's got this sheer organza ribbon over here down the side, which is what I did on mine. And then here, ooh, we have some of the washi. We got the coffee bean washi and some donuts and that looks like macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Comfort food, right? And I don't I don't know what these are, but it looks like bling and fall colors kind of thing. I don't know, I can't see that good. Thing. And beautiful stars in blue and green. I don't have those. Pretty. And lots of leaves here in all different fall colors. Those are nice too. I have a couple, but they don't look like, I think they're different than those. Okay, she wrote on here, Metallic Yarn Lorax, and where it was manufactured in Cleveland, Ohio. Cool. It's really thin yarn or thread. Really cool. I don't know if you can see. It's almost like a rosy or a lavender color. Really pretty. I don't want to take everything out, out. Oh, there's, there's different ones. Hang on, I guess I'm going to. <laughs> and she has everything taped closed, which is a good idea. I should learn to do that as well. The question is, can I get the tape off? I know not. Uh, maybe. My fingers want to work today. There we go. I like metallic stuff, so... I like this little glassine bag too. <laughs> Let's see what we have in here. Oh, there's three. Oh, look at that. There's gold and blue and then this pink, pink color. Pretty. Shiny, shiny. That is really cool. It's very thin. Wow. I have never seen that before. Linnea, thank you. Definitely use that on future projects. But for now, it's going back in here. Maybe. <laughs> oh, and somewhere in this house, I have some glassine bags, but they're bigger than this. I wouldn't be able to use them in a pocket letter unless I cut them down. And... Oh, come on, Dad. Really? Anybody else have this trouble? There we go. And here, ooh, look at these metallic leaves, too. Wow. All right. Okay, I'm not taking them out because it's taped also. But they're really cool. They're like a metallic copper fabric looking leaf. Those are really cool. I like them a lot. And then some of the puffy stickers with the little squirrel and the um, hedgehog, I think. I don't know. A porcupine. It looks like a porcupine to me. And the bear with, <laughs> with glasses and flowers in its fur. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> and then here we have a basket of pumpkins <laughs> with a pooch in it, it looks like to me. <laughs> Getting a little mischief in there in the pumpkin basket with glasses on too. Cute, cute. And here's a sunflower with some pumpkins and leaves. Cute, cute. And some felt pieces, leaves, different shapes and colors. And then here we have some, I guess you call it table scatter, sequins, whatever, but they're larger pieces, so they're nice for embellishing. And it's got acorns and pumpkins and leaves and things. Really pretty. Look at that reddish acorn. And then you have like a light tan champagne color one. And an oak leaf here, all different ones. So really pretty. Thank you so much, Linnea. I'm so happy you swapped with me. So thank you, thank you. I enjoyed that. Really pretty. Thank you. All right. I'm going to sit that here. Although, let me switch sides because that's right under the light, which is glaring. There we go. All right, let's open this one. I'm going to cut it so I don't ruin all the paper. And I can reuse it, maybe, because she's good at taping, like my family at Christmas wrapping time. <laughs> we all like to tape things so good, but I have to stop doing that now, at least for mom's stuff, because she can't open the packages then. 
although she's the one that taught us to tape, tape, tape <laughs> so much. All right, one more. Sorry, guys. I know you're like, tear it, tear it, Dad. No, I reuse. That's probably why I have such a mess in this house. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> Running on grace and coffee. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Oh, and Christmas tree bling. Can never have too much Christmas tree bling. Love it. <laughs> love this one. I love these little tablets. Oh, look. Coffee has great friends. Aw. Happiness in a cup. That's for sure. <laughs> I need some coffee today. I had two cups of tea and it didn't do the job, guys. And then it has verses. Oh, that's so nice. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Isaiah 40, 31. Yeah, I definitely need to use this. And um, are they all the same? Yes, that's all right. Just when I need a reminder, I'll open this up. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. Okay. I'll put that back here. Okay, now this must be, I don't know, I'm thinking this one is the house mouse probably. Let's do that one because those I purchased, I think that's what this is. I don't know what the other one is. It's too big to be the house mouse, I think. Mm. So she sent me pictures and I said, no, I don't think I have that one or no, I don't think I have this one and, and, uh, and I told her I'd pay her for them because that's how friends work, right? Oh, I love this one. Next fall. It's um, Fall Float, it's called. I love that one. So cute. Look at his little face. He's so cute. <laughs> his little belly. This is... Um, I can't read it. Oh. Hmm. It doesn't, it doesn't say. That's just a code. Um, sometimes they say on them who they are, but it doesn't. I thought it did, but it's from 1985, I think that says. Wow. And uh, the designer is uh, Ellen Janecki. Jarecki. Jarecki. Um, some, but so the original ones were probably on wood blocks, and they... Would have said who the mouse is like monica or mud pie or whatever oh these are so cute too bow tied <laughs> they all have bows on their heads oh, look at those ears <laughs> i just think they're adorable that one's from 1997 and then this but these were all recent at tuesday morning this one's called jelly bean with the jelly beans in the eggshell and the little Mousy eating, <laughs> getting a fat tummy eating jelly beans. 2006, so that's more recent. Oh, look at the little one in the stocking. Oh, that's so cute. 1990, I think it says. Stockings hung. Hung. Stockings hung. <laughs> Probably going for the candy cane and fell asleep in the stocking instead. <laughs> And this one with the hummingbird, so cute. I have a different hummingbird one, but I didn't have this one. And the hummingbird's getting the nectar out of the flower while the little mouse holds it. So cute. And this one doesn't really say the year 2000. No. Well, that says 2019 Ellen Jarecki. So, no, all of these do. So that's when it was redone. Oh, here. Um, 20, 2007. For that one and then this one is called jelly bean i don't know what na meant nap nap jelly bean nap <laughs> napping on top of the jelly beans 1997 cute cute and the band-aids oh ah, from its tummy from the band-aid on its tummy <laughs> first aid oh that's so cute Oh, poor little mousey have a belly ache. <laughs> I just think they're adorable. Now, sadly, I've heard, although I wasn't officially told, but I heard from a reliable source that Crafty Bean's not going to be hosting the House Mouth Collab in 2020. 
So I'm sad to hear that. Sorry, Tina, but maybe somebody will take it over. I can't host another collab because I'm hosting so many already next year. But I will participate because I have a lot of house mouse uh, stamps. So if someone else takes it over, please let me know. I do have a lot of house mouse stamps and I would love to continue using them in a collab. And if not, I might just you know, post as I can each month anyway, um, even without a collab. I think Paige is interested in, in continuing or doing something with them as well. Uh, Stamp Girl Paige. And um, so let me know, others of you out there, is someone else taking it over or not? Um, have you heard anything else? And uh, yeah, because I'm definitely interested. Okay. All right, everybody, let's see what this is, because this is, oh, she mentioned this to me. I forgot about it. <laughs> I forgot about this. You didn't have to wrap all this stuff. Wow. There must be tape somewhere else in there. Yep, it is. There we go. She had bought two of the same magazine, and I didn't have this one. Ooh, that's nice. Autumn Wonder Set plus eight designer papers. So let's open this up. And these are a little expensive, so thank you for that. I See, I didn't send enough money now. Mm. I only paid for the house mouse and a little bit of the shipping, but I should have paid for this as well. So, Linnea, I owe you some money on... Look at this cute stamp with an owl, which, you know, I'm giving away my retired Stampin' Up! Owl, so now I'll have another owl, and this fox, too. I have a sitting fox, but not one walking. Acorns, leaves, pumpkins, mushrooms, thanks for everything, with love, wishing you a very special birthday, and this cute little squirrel. My daughter loves squirrels, except when they clean out her bird feeder, like, like me. <laughs> And a leaf border strip. I love that embossing strip. I'll definitely make use of that. And they give you some examples up here. Look what you can make. And eight, eight vibrant designer papers, which are probably in the magazine. I guess. Oh no, they're right here. Duh. Let's look. Oh, they're six by six. All right, let's look at those because they look pretty. They look pretty. Oh, everything is tacked down so well. <laughs> hard for us, us peoples, especially us older peoples. Anyway, this I don't mind, but okay. Yeah, these are nice. These are nice papers. They're single-sided, which is fine. Every There's a purpose for every type of paper, single-sided or not. Look at all the pretty colors in that. That'll go with Stampin' Up's Pretty Peacock and a few of the other colors. And it's got the solid leaves, leaves with veins, and leaves with different dots and stuff on them. Very pretty. I like that one. That one's cool too. It's got those things with the berries on it. I don't know what they're called. And some more modern looking leaves. Really cool. I don't have any plants that look like that in my yard that I know of. Actually, I have a weed that has berries on it that I need to get rid of because I think it's poisonous. <laughs> and I'm afraid to touch it. And then acorns. Yes, acorn paper. Wow. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to go through the magazine now because that'll make this video way too long and we're already at 23 minutes. So, oops, got to put it back in here. So thank you, Linnea. This is great to have this one because, you know, I subscribe to um, this magazine, but they only give me the even number issues. Let me turn that light off if I can get it off. There we go. Um, they only give us the even numbered issues, so this is an odd number, and those are available in stores, but I never go out and buy them in the stores here, so apparently Linnea did, and she bought one she already, apparently already had, so hopefully that's the case. And, um, so thank you, thank you for not returning it and giving it to me. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Look at that pretty car with the owl and the moon. And let's see what else is in here. Stenciling inspiration. Ooh, I like that. 
ship-shaped nautical ideas, adorable garden gnomes. I'm not a big gnome person, but sometimes they're cute. Sometimes they're creepy. <laughs> Three bow fold cards. Ooh, I might have to try that. Simple and stylish. I like the sound of that. Eight pretty bonus papers inside your magazine. Vintage typewriter gift idea. Look, it's a box made into a typewriter. That's cool. <coughs> and sweet inspiration with heartfelt creations trend alert 10 makes with garden birds you know i'm gonna like that and sunset silhouettes master a new technique definitely will try a new technique i'm so far behind in doing that kind of stuff so next year i will have some goals so anyway thank you so much linnea for your beautiful pocket letter and for my surprise um what are these called again? <laughs> uh, letter board, letter board. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. I have a letter board. Woohoo. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I will definitely use this. And I'm going to leave it just as it is if, if there's not enough letters to do demonstrator to change that. So. And I might just add USA afterwards, too. Alrighty. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Linnea. Big hugs and pets to Finn. Finn's her doggy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I appreciate your friendship and all that jazz. So we keep each other straight sometimes. Now, let's go have our coffee. Bye for now. Hugs, love, and peace. Okay, so I promised I'd do a flip through of the paper at the end, and I almost forgot, guys. Um, now, Linnea picked this up, I think, for me, because originally I had been at Tuesday morning, and I found all these beautiful bow bunny, um, noteworthy ephemeras, and I don't think I got these on Tuesday morning. Maybe I did, but they don't, they don't have the Tuesday morning sticker, so I think I got these online. But before, she probably bought this knowing I hadn't found the paper pad. And I believe I went online and bought this online. This is the, um, it's by American Crafts. So I think this was one I put in my American Crafts haul, the 6x6. Six six. But I will tell you, there is a difference in the paper. Because this one has several different sheets of cut parts. I already poked it open um so let's look at and this is a little different too so let's just show you this beautiful paper and i don't know i'll try and do it this way um so we have the deer and the leaves and the trees very pretty love my deer look at these autumn colors isn't that gorgeous now that is in the the small paper pad also just smaller version see so I'll try and do a compare, sort of. Um, I'm not going to do it with everything. This is in the small paper pad as well. The blue, you can kind of see it right here. And the birds, I do not believe, are in the small paper pad. I'm going to do a quick, I don't remember seeing them. I just did a quick through. No, the birds are not in the small one. So that's cool, and I love birds, you know. And it's got like stained background and then of course the leaves now this is in the small one and the acorns love it love it love it and then we have this stripe and i don't think this is in the small one either this one is it's like a golden orangey golden orangey uh, with like water droplets on it almost and then this tree and i don't think this is in the small one either and then these, these beautiful cut aparts are not, there's no cut aparts in the small one. So it says, I am so glad to live in a world where there are Octobers. And I believe that was from Anne of Green Gables. It doesn't say that on here, but I have another paper pad, which I'll be showing shortly, that does say that. Up here says, Autumn carries more gold in its pocket than all the other seasons by Jim Bishop. Autumn paints in colors that summer has never seen. Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall, Confucius. And that's true. You know, the leaves, when they fall to the ground, they eventually 
disintegrate they help feed the soil and the trees rise again hopefully if we don't burn them down fall in love be your own color no matter what the rest of the world looks like there we go and welcome autumn and then just some you can stamp your own sentiments or use however you want love it love it beautiful then there's this one and there is one something like this in the other paper pad but it's more of a um, burgundy this is more orangey coppery color beautiful this one's in the small one these look more brown on here though i think in the small one they look more burgundy to me i see there no i guess they're brown on the front cover they look more burgundy but they're brown i guess yeah okay and then the gold one again here's a really deep brown and i think that's in here too but it looks yeah i just passed it yeah see that looks more reddish this looks more brown can you see the difference a little bit deeper so this does look more burgundy ish and then this one this is not in the small one beautiful and the dots and i think that's in the small one hang on no oh yes yes it is there we go that's in there it's not on the cover though oh yeah it is i see it never mind and then this one this is in the small as soft also it's like tone on tone green like faded wallpaper golden leaves that's in the small one don't think this one is though yeah and then this one is beautiful colors this is blues and greens and yellows and um lots of beautiful colors and then this one is in the small but i don't think it has this let me check real quick no see it's just oh that's different this is more like like vines and stuff on it and this is like raindrops with the trees love it love it and it almost looks like a mountain in the background the way there's a shadow there really cool and this other gold with the paisley type thing and then this one with the paisley different colors and different cut aparts aren't these beautiful you can't even see them all i have to turn this this way beautiful cut aparts thank you linnea i wasn't going to get the 12 by 12 but i couldn't find it anyway but really pretty and then it repeats um so let's see there are 48 papers um well that seems like so it must be 24 different patterns two of each that's what it appears yeah so 24 different patterns two of each that's unusual usually you get six patterns four of each right so um yeah really love that thank you very much Luna. and with that i'm gonna let you go and i have to figure out how i'm gonna put this away now <laughs> i'll talk to you soon bye hugs love and peace